and uh, just roughly one pound is hundred Indian rupees. So you can you know start like thirty thousand pounds, like thirty lakhs. Or maybe 40 lakhs if you have a good good experience and you can show your skills. If you want to talk with Mr. Gotham related to uh, cybersecurity courses or job opportunities in the UK, or you're looking to study masters in UK, then fill the form and we will get back to you. Also. Hello everyone and welcome to the New Age Traveller, the happy place for the travellers. As promised, I'm starting with a video series where we're going to talk about the experiences of international students studying and working in the UK. Are you excited? Let's begin. Today, we have a special guest. With us, we have Mr. Gotham, who studied at the University of York and is now working as an information security analyst and is one of, in, in one of the biggest retail organizations in the UK. In this episode, we will be discussing his experiences and insights on job opportunities, visa processes and life in the UK as an international student. And at the end, how much you can earn with two years of experience in UK. So without further ado, let's get started. Hello Gautam and welcome to our channel. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. So I have a couple of frequently asked questions, especially from the international students who are studying in the UK. Are you ready with the Q&A session? Yeah, sure. Perfect. So we have first question. Can you tell us about your experience studying cyber security at the University of York and how it has helped you in your current role as an information security analyst? The University of York cyber security modules cover various domains mm -hmm. in the cyber security and it gives a deeper understanding of all the major security concepts and that can be related with real life world security scenarios. Mm -hmm. And they help me to resolve and correlate mm -hmm. whatever I've studied with what's happening in the real world mm -hmm. with respect to the security incidents. Mm -hmm. So the experience as a course was very helpful mm -hmm. for me to uh, achieve me more in the field of cybersecurity. Amazing. So your second question, how did you go about finding job opportunities in the UK as an international student and what advice do you have for others looking for the same? Yeah, uh, that's a very good question. So. To find job opportunities, we know that there are so many opportunities like finding through links and sites and many other career domains, but the, most of them is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very good platform which helps us to find uh, people in the respective domains mm -hmm. and make networks and connections with them mm -hmm. and then uh, like build ourselves a good network of people. So LinkedIn is like a very good platform for us to uh, talk with them to get to know more about the opportunities that mm -hmm. are in the current field and we can uh, get to know more like what's happening how the talent acquisition people work and as far as my job is concerned like LinkedIn was our main platform for me to get the job secured and LinkedIn is a very good place to start with during your like what's say June month when you are a September student okay, okay. so uh, so you started when like last year June when yeah so your... when I was doing my masters I started okay. during June and then I had three months gap until I handed in over my dissertation oh okay yeah, so yeah. that was a good amount of time for me to attend so many interviews through LinkedIn mm -hmm. and I contacted a lot of people in okay. the talent acquisition domain and stuff so that helped me a lot so any other job portal you use or you just use the LinkedIn as, as yeah there are many job opportunity uh, portals like mm -hmm. uh, I've told like Indeed, mm -hmm. Read and CV library okay. and so many other stuffs, but all these are just like any other normal uh, portal that how it works. Okay. But LinkedIn is where we just connect with people directly. We talk with HRs, uh, we talk with talent acquisition people, mm -hmm. uh, group people operations, and and see how to get opportunities to know more about the domain and like we explore a lot in that particular field. Brilliant. Next question: Can you walk us through the process of applying for a skilled work visa? Uh, in the UK and any challenges or obstacles you encountered along the way? Skilled work visa is basically of two types, mm -hmm. like either the company sponsors for you as a whole, like they pay for everything, mm -hmm. say for example IHS visa fees and that includes immigration mm -hmm. cost letter and everything. Okay. That is another type of skilled worker visa where they just give you the cost letter and then the rest you have to do it on your own. Okay. So mine was like that. And I just got a cost letter and then cost letters like uh, 
certificate of sponsorship yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay it, that's it so okay i get that that one from the organization mm-hmm. and then i apply with my own like i pay for the ihs i pay for okay. the visa and stuff and that's that's what i got my skill worker visa through and then uh as far as the challenges are concerned mm-hmm. like when you get the cos perfectly ready mm-hmm. from the organization mm-hmm. uh, i think there must not be any challenges that you you should be facing I mean, and uh, you should be getting your visa within like 10 to 20 days or even a month oh okay yeah. so right now we as uh, gautam shared so there are two types or two ways yeah, one two ways. will be paid either the company will pay you yeah. or the second option is you have to pay yeah. on behalf of yeah. your sponsorship yeah. they will provide you the cos that is called the uh, certificate of sponsorship yeah. right yeah. amazing So so the application wise it's just a normal process you just go and apply in the gov.uk site okay. and then you just do your biometrics and then you wait for the visa so, to come in. So how long it took for you uh to get the the visa for 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 the tier 2 skilled work yeah. visa? Yeah so I forgot to mention another thing mm-hmm. so the skilled worker visa might consist of your either 3 year period mm-hmm. or a 5 year period mm-hmm. so mine was a 3 year period uh, oh, okay. but, but it differs on the organization how they want to sponsor you then oh, okay uh, for for some fields they might sponsor for 5 years for some fields they might sponsor for 3 years okay and also another important point mm-hmm. is that you have to look at your job role whether it comes under the uh, shortage of very important list, yes shortage occupation list or not mm-hmm. if that's the case then the visa application fees is also very less in that case So uh yeah uh, as far as your question is concerned like well, how many days it took mm-hmm. for me it was a very clear process and it just took like 10 to 15 days for me to get my tier 2 oh, visa so it was it was pretty soon uh it's just the matter of the cause right okay. yeah okay brilliant let's go to the next question what advice do you have for international students or the recent graduates looking to build their career in the UK um especially in the field of cyber security yeah uh, as far as cyber security is concerned skill set is the most important thing whatever sure, your technical sure. background whatever your experience doesn't matter mm-hmm. i mean it does matter but the skill set is more important true yeah so you should know about the role first you should know about the domain that you're going into mm-hmm. in the field of cyber security there are so many other sub categories of domains mm-hmm. that you can work example like vulnerability tester penetration tester mm-hmm. uh incident handler and so many other stuff so you should know what you're going for and which role you're applying for and then basically it's just the basic skill set that you need like very very core basic cyber security basics like communication networking and the very basic stuff mm-hmm. and how you apply them in the current world scenario and try to find out a efficient solution for a given problem so mm-hmm. when you are attending many interviews you will be given a lot of scenario type questions where multiple scenarios are thrown at you and then they will be all related to the basic networking stuff okay so you just with your understanding of that particular concept mm-hmm. how you just derive an answer and derive a efficient solution for that particular problem so the understanding of the concept and the application of the concept is very much important which is what we learned in the master as well so we learned a lot of modules uh-huh. and we had to apply them to derive answers true so basically that was the most important thing i would say the skills that is more important and as far as attending more interviews like you have to go through more interviews to get more experience of how the interviews happens yeah the technical rounds are the most most toughest ones yeah true in the field of cyber security uh-huh. i'm talking about so when it comes to a technical round you do sweat it does make oh, you sweat true it's it's that tough but with more rounds of experience of uh-huh. interviews you will definitely crack it it's just a matter of time yeah and as well as as far as interviews are concerned mm-hmm. you should be able to accept rejection mm-hmm. because That's rejection true. is a part of the interview process yes yeah. i want to add um i remember gotham um we were discussing about the job how we going to look for future sponsorships and uh, during our dissertation period he was sharing like he has applied for more than 100 companies yeah yeah close to 75 share, yeah. or 50 to 75 companies yeah yeah but most of them i don't even get replies mm-hmm. and i don't even get uh, rejections but i do get a lot of rejections after a couple of months after mm-hmm. i started applying mm-hmm. but then it all went it will take it. time i yeah. think yeah as i said it's just a matter of time amazing amazing yeah. brilliant so we'll just quickly go to a last question gotham yeah, sure are you comfortable are you fine okay yeah. feeling okay yeah, cool. perfect how has your experience living and working in the uk been so far and what have been some of the biggest challenges you have faced 
yeah, I think this question goes to everyone out there, the each and every international student out there. Sure, yeah. My work experience in the UK is varied and I've been through a lot of jobs and mm-hmm. I mean part time jobs mm-hmm. and then all those experiences uh, mattered a lot to me and through them I learned how the people care for each other and people speak with each other and how their cultural values differ from us and I learned all this and then that helped me to where I am today. Uh, so I have worked as a food runner in a restaurant and I've mm. even worked as a healthcare assistant Amazing. and all those experiences really mattered and today in a proper organizational structure that I'm in now it really helps all the values that I've learned and mm-hmm. uh, it does really matter a lot at this point of time. So, Amazing. Looking back at the work experience that you have, uh, as far as the technical work experience is considered, uh, even though you are a fresher with the, no experience of knowledge, I mean like working knowledge, mm-hmm. or you are an experienced worker like with two years or even five years of knowledge, mm-hmm. and you're going to work in here, uh, they always look at us as the first come people. So whatever experience you have, that does matter, but not that much. They will see you as a fresher. Uh, in the organization that you're going to join. Okay. So okay. the first year interesting, is, very important point to note. Yeah? yeah. The first year is going to be like a fresher year and based on your skills and experience, you okay. will, you will definitely make it throughout the, uh, career further. Amazing. And yeah, that's, that's, uh, what we are here for. Yeah, CBA. that's true. And so Gautam, like, uh, during your masters, um, you mentioned like you did some part-time jobs. So like what all jobs you did? While, while, while doing your masters here? Yeah, I, as I told earlier, like uh-huh. I've worked as a, a food runner in a restaurant oh. and I've even worked as a healthcare assistant. Okay. Both are varied domains. Varied and, domains, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, and uh, it's just a matter of experience and both were lovely experience that I enjoyed a lot here. So, you, so, so you always be like very, very um, thankful to them as yeah. well you have learned many things yeah. during obviously, your part. Okay, obviously. amazing. Right, so a uh, very crucial question now is about the um, how much you can earn or what can be your salary expectations with uh, two years of work experience. Um, well, to be honest, uh, I think Gautam will be the best person to answer this, but uh, I think yeah. with cybersecurity, with two years of work experience, somewhat more than 4K we can uh, expect. I mean, not going into the numbers. Perfect, uh, yeah. I'm, just, you got them, I'm yeah. just gonna say it in a very gentle manner. Uh-huh. So, no matter the experience, two years or five years or four years, that doesn't matter really. Uh, it's just the role position that you're applying for. Oh, okay. If it's a senior role or a mid-senior role or even a junior entry-level role. Okay. Uh, it does come back to, again, skill set. They assess you on the basis of skill set and the technical content that you give out in the interviews. Oh, okay. And with that, even the pay scale is up. Like say for thirty five to fifty. Oh, okay. they will, even if you are very good, they'll give you fifty. Or even if you are like mediocre, like medium, medium, they they might give you like forty five or thirty five. Okay. So even the scale pay range is there, and based on your skills, it might differ. Amazing. So, yeah. so that's that's one thing. And mm-hmm. the other thing is, uh, even for a fresher, uh, the cyber security starting basic pay is minimum twenty nine to thirty five. Like I've seen so many interviews, I've mm. seen so many roles. These packages all start from for a cyber security entry level role start from thirty at least minimum. So, so thirty k is a quite good pay for a fresher for a first year. Amazing, I would say. Yeah, brilliant. So, um, as Gotham shared with us, if you are fresher, you can expect thirty thousand, um, and with a couple of years of experience, and if you can prove like you have a proper skill set, you may go up like. 40k 50k so 30k is like 30,000 pounds and if you convert it to say uh, we are we are international students and we are from India and um, just roughly one pound is 100 Indian rupees so you can you know start like 30,000 pounds like 30 lakhs or maybe 40 lakhs if you have a good good experience and you can show your skills amazing Gautam that's all the time we have for today a big thank you to Mr. Gautam for for sharing his valuable insights and experiences with us yeah, uh, thank you so much for uh, asking me all these questions and I hope I was helpful for all the international students out there. Absolutely. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Also, I have attached a Google form. If you want to talk with Mr. Gotham related to uh, cybersecurity courses or job opportunities in the UK, or you're looking to study masters in UK, then fill the form and we will get back to you. 
Also, do let me know what all courses and job opportunities you're looking for for the future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative contents. Until next time, thank you.